have you ever wondered about the types of people you should avoid? People who might drain your energy, undermine your efforts, or just make your life more difficult? Well, we all have. It's crucial to surround ourselves with positive influences and steer clear from those who may hinder our growth. This is why we've come up with a list of 10 types of people to avoid to help you maintain a healthier social environment. In this video, we will explore the 10 types of people you should avoid. Now let's dive right into it, right into. First on the list is the perpetual pessimist. This is the person who always sees the glass half empty. They're the ones who find a problem for every solution, casting a cloud over every silver lining. Their negativity can be infectious. Steer clear or you may find your own outlook starting to darken. Next up, we have the gossip. This person thrives on the drama of others, spreading rumors and secrets like wildfire. Remember, if they're talking about others to you, they're likely talking about you to others. Avoid the hearsay and keep your personal life personal. Then there's the manipulator. This person uses others to their advantage, often under the guise of friendship. They're masters of guilt trips and playing the victim to get what they want. It's best to recognize these tactics early and keep your distance. Fourth on our list is the flake. This person is consistently inconsistent. They're always late, canceling plans at the last minute, or not showing up at all. Don't let their lack of consideration waste your time or energy. Halfway through, we find the drama queen. They thrive on chaos and conflict, often exaggerating situations for attention. Their theatrics can be exhausting and create unnecessary stress. It's best to avoid getting caught up in their performance. Next, we have the critic. This person is constantly judging, always finding something or someone to critique. Their need to tear others down can wreak havoc on your self-esteem. Remember, you're not here to live up to their expectations. Seventh, we encounter the victim. This person refuses to take responsibility for their actions, always blaming others or circumstances for their misfortunes. Their refusal to grow can hinder your own personal development. Avoid the blame game and focus on accountability. Coming in at number eight is the taker. This person is all about me, me, me. They're always ready to receive but rarely willing to give. Relationships are about balance and with them, it's likely to always be off kilter. Second to last, we have the envious one. This person is never content with what they have, always wanting what others have. Their jealousy can breed negativity and competition. It's healthier to surround yourself with those who celebrate your success, not covet it. Finally, we have the judgmental person. They're quick to jump to conclusions, often casting harsh judgments without understanding the full story. Their narrow-mindedness can create a toxic environment. It's always better to choose empathy over judgment. By identifying these types of people and understanding their impacts, we can make informed decisions about who we allow into our lives. So, we've discussed the 10 types of people you should avoid. These characters from the energy vampires to the eternal pessimists can drain your joy and hinder your progress towards reaching your full potential. Let's quickly recap. We have the gossip mongers, who thrive on spreading rumors. Then there are the constant complainers, never satisfied with anything. We've also talked about the manipulators, always looking for ways to control others. And let's not forget the backstabbers, the green-eyed monsters, the drama queens, the know-it-alls, the never-wrongs, and the takers, who are always on the receiving end but seldom give back. If you find any of these types in your life, remember it's okay to establish boundaries, to say no, to protect your peace. You're not obligated to entertain negativity. In the end, it's all about choosing positivity over toxicity, growth over stagnation. Remember, life is too short to spend time with people who drain your happiness. Choose to surround yourself with positive, uplifting individuals who contribute to your well-being and growth. 